As soldiers, you know, your ability to dominate the border does not depend on just your physical strength, but what kind of weaponry, what kind of tools you have. Accordingly, that much dominance. The first tool that we have in our hands is our own body, our own mind, our own energy. If these three things function at the highest level, whatever little things that are given to our hands will suddenly acquire a different significance. With small things, those who have control over their system do big things simply because this is the first tool that we have, this body, this mind, this energy. Bringing some mastery over that will make a world of difference, particularly for a soldier, because it's a demanding life, it's a lonely life. If one is not substantially organized within himself, then being alone is very difficult. A yogi is always alone by choice, not because he doesn't get along with people, simply because he's so well organized, usually he doesn't find any company which is that well organized. <laughs> so you choose to be alone because, you know when one of the disciples asked Gautama the Buddha, is it good to walk in company? or to walk alone. Gautama said, it's better to walk alone than to walk with a fool. It is so for a soldier also, it's better to be alone than to have a fool next to you, isn't it? <laughs> if the fool is on the other side of the border, it's a good thing. If he's next to you, it's not a good thing. <laughs> So, like a yogi, a soldier also has to learn how to integrate one's body, mind, energy in such a way that being alone is not a struggle because in that there is enormous strength, enormous. There's a human being becomes phenomenal simply because his ability to organize himself in such a way that being alone is not an issue. Those who seek company all the time, compulsively, nothing wrong meeting and mingling and being in company with people, but if it's a compulsive need, you have to be with somebody or something. In that state, one becomes unnecessarily vulnerable, especially in the business that you are. Vulner vulnerability could mean life or death. <laughs>